loves, Jamie Geller here, and no matter what we create for you in our test kitchens, we just made you duck confit tacos. You keep coming back to the Jewish classics. Potato kugel is one of the most popular recipes on our site. Now, a few years back and a few kids back, I actually made you a video for potato kugel showing that classic deep dish potato kugel made in a 9x13 casserole. Well, my signature is actually potato kugel cups. You're always coming to the recipe and asking how to make it with some questions. So I wanted to show you tips and tricks for the perfect potato kugel cups. So you want to start with six, four to six ounce glass ramekins or custard cups. Really important here, no canola oil in this kitchen. Great quality EVOO. We really want to make sure that we liberally grease these guys. And uh, hubby, you know, if you've been watching our Facebook Lives, he wants to recoin EVOO as EVU. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below if you're an EVOO or an EVU person. Okay, this goes into a 425 degree oven while we prep the batter. So make sure that oven's preheated. The next thing we want to do is set a small saucepan over medium low heat and fill it with three quarters of a cup of extra virgin olive oil. I come from generations of kugel makers. So the tips that I'm sharing with you have been tested my grandfather, my father, and now me. And I'm teaching it to the next generation. Kugel making in my house is a family affair. And these tips that I'm giving you are super important. Don't skip them, because that's what's gonna give you that amazing crunchy exterior and the pillowy creamy interior, the kind of stuff that dreams are made of. You want to whisk together three eggs, and the idea here is to have everything ready to go so that the potatoes don't brown as we start to work with them. We have really quick assembly. Because the first time that I made potato kugel, for the first week that I was married to my husband with my grandfather and my mother at the table, so embarrassing because I turned out like a one inch thick, rubbery, brown, flat, Passover cake, that's what it looked like. It was so mortifying because I didn't know these tips about having everything ready to go, having the potatoes soaking in water. So you've gotta make sure that you follow these particular tips and it will make your potato go gorgeous. Season with two teaspoons of kosher salt. Don't be scared, potatoes love salt. It helps their flavor shine through and about a half a teaspoon of pepper. My grandfather always used white pepper, especially because it's a really light colored recipe and the flavor was really delicate. Um, but I never have white pepper in my house, so I made this switch when I started making potato kugel to the black pepper. We like that little bit of a contrast and kick, but totally up to you. The next thing, we've got our oil hot, we've got our eggs seasoned and ready. You want to do the onions first in the food processor, again, to keep those potatoes white and creamy. I have the blade set to the blade, the shoestring blade. That's like there's the whole controversy about do you like your potato kugel mushy or stringy. Um, I grew up in a mush house. My husband grew up in a string house. So I asked him what do you like. He said variety is the spice of life. So sometimes I make mush, sometimes I make string, and sometimes I do half and half. But today I've got the shoestring blade set here. So I have my peeled potatoes in a bowl of water because the second you peel the potatoes, they begin to oxidize. That's when they're going to start to turn brown and this heads off that process. I have six kids in my house and I've got six peelers. So they help me peel all the potatoes. Potato kugel freezes amazing. I'll often double and triple this recipe and so then I'll have like 12 or 18 pounds of potatoes that have to be peeled. So we all get together, we'll do like special time on Wednesday night and peel the potatoes. I'll leave them in the fridge overnight just like this, and then Thursday we'll bake. We're gonna mix everything together. Now we're gonna add our eggs. Good, that's looking good, and that's already gonna help protect the potatoes from browning a bit. And we're gonna add our hot oil. Wait for the sizzle, wait for it. Awesome, that's where the magic happens. I remember watching my father and grandfather make this dish and we would just start salivating at this point and then we would just wait by the oven. Okay, now let's go quickly get our heated custard cups out of the oven. Hot oil, hot glass, but the glass is what gives it that coveted crunchy exterior. Okay, you wanna fill these, you wanna pack them really nice Get this in 425 degrees. Oh yeah. 
I remember standing vigil by the oven waiting for my grandfather and then my father's potato fugle. Honestly, potatoes, oil, and salt. You so can't go wrong with this. The best part though about my potato kugel cups is that no one has to fight over the coveted crunchy corner. So once these are cool enough to handle, just with a butter knife, loosen around the edges, they'll pop right out. You're gonna absolutely adore these. I've made them for my family hundreds of times. If you want more classic Jewish recipes, subscribe to my channel. I can't wait to cook with you. Burger. So we want to set a nice small sauce. Oh, well, now you should just know. It's not this one, it's this one. Okay, sorry. So we're going to next go to our potatoes. Potato kugel. Don't be scared, listen to what I'm saying. Is that the? Onions, potatoes, and salt. Sorry, okay, can I do that one more time? Yeah. 